Okay, how are we doing out there in YouTube land? <clears throat> I decided I was going to film this today. I don't normally. But uh, I do all my own cooking and food preparation, canning. And I also make my own yogurt. I love yogurt. And I like nice, pure, clean yogurt. And I've watched a bunch of videos on these and people just talk and talk and talk and turn this into a half hour deal. I'm not going to do that. It's real easy. Let me give this a little stir while I'm doing it so we don't scorch the uh, pan. All you need to do is get yourself some whole milk. This is Prairie Farms. I got that down in my locally, local Piggly Wiggly. I have a... Uh, meat thermometer or anything else for that matter this thing's wonderful matter of fact we'll give it a probe right now and see where we're at 73 inside 65 degrees outside beautiful today all right we're at 152 okay I'll put that down for a second see if i can get my uh, phone back up and running all right, I'll come back in a minute and I'll show you what else you need. I need two hands to do this. Okay, I'm back. Just stirred the milk. I used uh, Dannon yogurt the first time. And now I lost the focus on here. Make sure it says that. Live and active yogurt cultures. If you do, if it does not have that, it's not going to work. I already have my own yogurt, but that's the easy way to do it. Last time I bought that, it was running about 375 a quart. And here's the one I made about, it's the last of it, two and a half weeks ago. And it cost about 350 for a gallon of whole milk, so you get uh, four and a half quarts. And what I do is I use the last batch. And it takes about two tablespoons per quart of milk. And basically what I'm going to do today, because I've been doing it, it's real easy. I'm just going to take half of this container and dump it in that mixture of the milk when it's at the proper temperature. You just want to keep stirring this till it gets up to about 185, 190 degrees Fahrenheit. And then let it sit there for about 5 minutes. Shut it off and let this milk cool down to about 110, 115, 110, and once that happens, we'll add the yogurt cultures into it, stir it up, and then I'm gonna come over here and re-clean my canning jars. Throw them in the canning jars, and then I'm gonna take them out and put them in my Kasari food hydrator. I had 95 degrees, minimum eight hours, sometimes 12. The longer you leave it in, the thicker it gets, and it gets a little more sour, which I don't mind. I, I don't like sweet stuff anyway. Okay, so when this is done, it's cooling, and I'm going to add the yogurt. I'll bring you back. Okay, uh, we're going to give this a quick check. It's really close. Here we go, 190. Time to turn the heat down. I'm going to let this sit there for about five minutes. Let me turn this way down to nothing. I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes, and then I'm going to shut it off. And then let it cool down to about 110, a little below 115, and I'll throw in the uh, yogurt mix. I'll try to film that and show you that. I mean, there's absolutely nothing to this. So, this is ready to go. I'll let it sit for a few minutes. Turn the oven off and wait for this to cool down. Stirring it helps. And when you're stirring your setup here, you want to use a metal or a plastic. You don't want to use any wooden spoons in here. There might be some bacteria or something. That wouldn't be good. All right, nothing to do now but wait. More to come. Okay, I'm about 15 minutes away, 15 degrees rather, from uh, my mark of 120. I poured a half pint of uh, milk, let it cool off, put it in that little mug. I'm going to mix in the yogurt. There's nothing to this, and I'm going to stir it up. That makes it easier. And while I've been waiting for the milk to cool down, I've made myself a nice big bowl of chicken salad. So you want to use about two tablespoons per, per quart. You don't have to go crazy measuring it. That's two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. That ends up being about a half a pint. We'll give her another one because I got plenty and I have enough to enjoy this evening. And that's what you end up with. That's the last batch I made two and a half weeks ago. I'm just going to stir this in, get it kind of, uh, get the lumps out of it. And then we're going to throw it into the, the milk when it gets down about a 110, 115 range. All right, I'm going to stir that for a couple of minutes and I'll be back when it's temperature's ready. I'm going to throw that in a big pan, stir it up, and we're going to bottle it up. I'll be back more to come. There's nothing to this anybody can do it. Sand. That's my little help is watching. Do you like yogurt? Is the temperature almost there? Yes? All right. Good thing you're helping. All right, we're about three degrees away. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, I think we're there. Take a little test here with the uh, thermometer. It was 114 a second ago. I don't know if you can see that. Got this on a tripod. That's close enough. Now I'm going to take the uh, yogurt and milk mix. Has been thinned out. Just going to dump it in. And all you're going to do is stir this in. That's where making that pre-mix helps quite a bit. You're not sitting here trying to stir in a bunch of lumps. That should do it. We're just going to fill up the bottles. However you want to do it. That's basically all there is to it. So I'm going to fill these up. And then I'm going to take them out to the, uh, my Kasori dehydrator. Set it for 95 degrees for 12 hours. And I'll show you that when we come back. Okay, I've got the uh, bottles out here in my Kasari dehydrator. You do not need one of these. You can just keep them as warm as possible, wrap them up with blankets, put them on the counters, stick them in your oven. You wanna try to keep them as warm as possible, 80, 90 degrees, 95 degrees if you can. This is so simple, you just touch this little button, set it 165, I wanna be 95. Due time. I'm going to set it for 12 hours. Hit start. And now I got to set it and forget it. I'll check on this uh, 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. They should be good. Put them in the refrigerator. And that's all there is to it. And again, no special tools required. Just that easy. And all that noise in the background. It's the crazy dog taking her uh, plastic jug for a walk. All right, give this a try. Nothing to it. You save a lot of money, and you know exactly what's in it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the uh, finished project uh, product. It's the next day. Uh, these sat in the uh, dehydrator in the incubation period for about nine and a half hours. Took them out about 8.30 last night. They've been in here all overnight in the refrigerator. I'm going to uncap one for you. Hopefully you can see that. And there's your finished product. That's, in my opinion, better than anything you can buy. Absolutely nothing in here but milk and yogurt which when you put the uh, culture in it, that's what you get. So try it. It's super simple. No special equipment needed. 
and it's so good. Mm -mm. And of course you can flavor it. I like to put frozen fruit and strawberries and stuff in it. Alright, so there it is. Quick, simple, nothing to it but to do it. Hope this helps somebody. I'm gone.